Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Tax. In our last video, we discussed how to do credit case part and full payment. In this video, we are going to discuss how to register or record expenses such as electricity, water, rent and other utility charges. Unfortunately, there is no feature in Aronium Point of Sale system to register or record these kinds of expenses. Fortunately, I found a way to register or record these kinds of expenses and I would like to share this information with you because most of my subscribers, fans, wishers requested me to post a video on this particular title. So, let's get started. As usual, we'll click on the menu and we'll click on the management. If I click on the management, we'll be getting this dialog box. Then we can click on the products. If I click on the products, we can see the product groups and products detail. If you want to refer further on this particular area, we can refer my how to import, export, add, edit, delete videos in this particular playlist. So now I'm going to create a new group. To create a new group, you can click on the new group and you can give a name for your group so i'm going to give as expenses okay product as expenses and then i'm going to click on the save to have this group now we have this group now we are going to click on the expenses group and under this expenses i'm going to create a couple of items so to create items under this group we will click on the new products and if we click on the new products, you can see the name. So here we have to give the name of the products. So I'm going to give electricity. Electricity. And we can give a product code. I'm going to give product code 9111. Okay, that's fine. And you can give barcode as well. And here we have unit of measurements. I don't want to give a unit, unit of measurement. Here you can see group, automatically you can see expense group. Why? We already click on this uh, expense group, then we click on the new products. Okay, that's fine. And then the next important thing is we have to turn this item as a service. So we click here to turn on as a service. Okay, so it means this particular item will not be uh, treated as a stock. Okay, so we don't want to trade as a stock. And next, we can click on the price and tax. Okay, under this, we can give the cost one rupee and selling price also one rupee. Okay, and uh, we can give one one. So it's easy for calculation. We can realize why I give one in cost and selling price later. Okay, that's fine. And comments and uh, image, we don't want to do anything. And we click on the save button to save this item. I'm going to add another couple of uh, items. So we click on the new products and I'm going to give water. And you can see the next number, 9112, automatically Aronium uh, put the next number. That's quite easy. And groups also expenses. And we'll turn this as a service. And price and tax, one and one. And we'll click on save. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to add one more items, new products. And this time we will add rent. And then you can see the next number, 9113. And we'll turn this particular item as a service. And price, one. Okay, that's fine. And save. And now I'm going to click on the documents. Okay, if you want to refer further on these documents, you can watch my earlier videos. Here I'm going to click on the add button to add a document if you want to refer further you can watch my earlier video so here we have expenses under these expenses we have a purchase and stock return i'm going to click on the purchase okay so now we are going to purchase kind of services so we'll click ok and here we have purchase documents okay that's fine now you can see the expense here so here we have expenses okay now i'm going to purchase all these uh, services okay now i'm going to double click on this electricity and i'm going to type 20,000 so I'm going to purchase uh, 20,000 uh, amount of uh, electricity at a price uh, 1 rupee okay so that's fine now we click ok and again I'm going to click on this uh, water and uh, let's purchase for 10,000 at a price for 1 rupee and ok and then we will double click on the rent and uh, 
let's purchase uh, 50,000 rent at a price of one rupee and we'll click OK. So we purchase all these items from a vendor. So by default, you can see RM Tech. So I'm going to change as unknown. Okay. So I don't want to uh, remember the vendors. Okay. That's fine. Now we will treat this as a paid invoice. Okay. Now you can see the total amount 20 plus 10 plus 50 is 80,000. Now we will save this purchase document. Okay. Document successfully saved. Now half of the work we completed okay that's fine before we register or record these kinds of expenses i'm going to create a couple of documents such as sales and purchase then we will be able to uh, trace the net profit okay the most of the subscribers uh, requested me to give the way to find the net profit Okay, after detecting the expenses so now we will do sales and purchase then thereafter we will enter the or register the expenses okay that's fine now we'll come back to the view documents and we'll click on the add button and i'm going to purchase a few items okay so we will remember easy one one two zero okay we'll double click this dell usb keyboard so we will purchase 100 quantity and we will give it OK and pay. So we are going to do for cash and we will save this one. Okay. And we will uh, buy one more item. Okay. And 1121. One. Okay. So here also we are going to purchase 50 items and we will make it save and pay them all. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to add one more products SP Scan Jet Scanner and we'll purchase. 10 items that's fine for cash payment and we'll save this document okay we purchased from arm tech and we'll save this document okay that's fine and i'm going to click on the view documents and i'm going to sell uh, these items add buttons selling and sales and we'll click ok i'm going to sell all of these items 1120 usb keyboards we bought 100 items now i'm going to sell 25 items one one two one will sell 20 items and uh, one one seven four and we will sell five items okay that's fine and that's fine here we can see the total amount of invoice and we'll click on the save document successfully saved and we will make it as uh, paid invoice and we'll click again to save this document that's fine and now we can see all of the items okay we purchased these items here and uh, we sold these items okay okay that's fine now we are going to register or record the expenses let's say for example this one the electricity charge is five thousand water bill thousand and rent six thousand okay so we are going to register all these expenses to register or record the expenses, you can click on the add button and you can come to the sales and again you can click on the 200 sales and you can give it OK. OK, that's fine. And in this particular dialog box, you have to select the expenses, the items. And here you can see expenses or if you can remember the service items or electricity, water or other rent numbers, product code, you can easily find out or you can come under this expense group and here you can find electricity water and rent i'm going to double click on the electricity and i'm going to type 5000 because this month electricity charge is 5000 and here price before tax i'm going to make as zero okay so that's the things we want to do here okay that's fine now we can click okay okay that's fine now i'm going to double click on the water and this month water bill is thousand so we will make it as thousand and price before tax zero and we'll click OK and again rent we'll double click on the rent and rent is six thousand and price before tax make it as zero and give it as OK okay now you can make it as paid and we can click save here okay document successfully saved now I'm going to see my net profit 
okay after deducting these electricity water and rent charges so now we will go to the reporting in this reporting here we have three groups sales purchase and loss and damage under the sales here we have profit and margin i'm going to click on the profit and margin and the right side you can see the filter i don't want to filter any items so i'm going to get uh, the profit for all of the customers and all of the products and here we have date okay so here i'm going to click on the date and going to find the net profit only for today okay only for today so we can easily traced out what we sold and what we purchased and here we'll click ok and uh, i'm going to click on this uh, show report okay if i click on the show report i can see this report so we will zoom in here you can hold the control key and you can scroll up and here you can see all of the items 1120 1121 and 1174 so here you can see the profit amounts Okay. Thereafter, you can see the numbers: nine one 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 electricity, nine one one two water, nine one one three rent. You can see the amount: five thousand, one thousand, six thousand, and you can see the negative quantity here. So it's deducted from the existing profit. Okay, the total profit. So here you can see the total profit, and these six thousand, one thousand, five thousands are deducted, and you can see the net profit here: seventy-two thousand. 942 so this is a net profit so this is the temporary solution to record uh, or register the expenses utility charges in our new point of sale system if you have any other better idea you can comment in the comment box uh, in this particular video that's all i want to discuss in this video hope you all have enjoyed this video if you love this video hit the thumbs up button if you are new to this channel click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the green bell then you will be get notified to my brand new videos thank you very much guys we'll meet in the next video goodbye for now